to this YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to draw a pivot table using the data that we have here, and then also insert a drop-down field, such that when I select here, this data in the pivot table is displaying 2020. When I select 2022, the data changes. The data changes. So the drop-down is going to be used as a basis to filter what is displayed in the pivot table. That's what we are gonna do today. At the end, I'm gonna show you where I add an all here, so that when you select that all, all the data will be displayed. So to start off, I'm gonna start from a blank sheet with only the data. Then I'm going to insert the pivot table. Start the pivot table, I go to insert, go to pivot table right there. Then we need to select the range, it has automatically selected it, but I can go up to the end so that when I add more data, I don't need to come back to this here. So I'm going to create a pivot table and put it on a new sheet. So when I do that, brings this and opens a pivot table editor. Now I'm ready to add the rows. My rows, I'm going to add the product. You can see products appearing as a row. Then columns, I'm going to add the regions. And there they go. The values, I'm going to add amount. And there you go. So right now it is displaying all the data in this sheet one. So what do we want to do? We want to put here, a drop down in B1. So before I do that, I need to create another sheet which will be used as a basis for my drop down. The drop down will be picking the data from this sheet. So the first item is all. Then I need to give it that reference, go and use the unique function. Then I select my years from here, drop the end reference there. So this is my basis for the drop down. Highlight this cell B1, go to insert, then say drop down. Then from a range, we're getting it from a range. Click this, click there, go to this. A range, you can remove the end reference, then you say, okay. So now my drop down is here and it has all the years. Currently it's not connected. So let's see how to connect the years first. So to do that, I need to click on my pivot table here, edit it, and need to add a filter. So add filter, and my filter is going to be based on here. Click here there, then click show all items, filter by condition, and I'm click there and go to custom formula. So I'm going to use the custom formula and what I'm going to put here is here equals what is put in cell B1. So then I do say, okay. Now, because 2020 is selected, 2020 data is displayed here. 2021, you can see it changes based on the selection here. Now, the next one I'm gonna show you is to include the all so that all my data is selected. To do that, I need to go back and edit my filter that I've placed. Click there. Now I need to change my custom function. I'm going to add if, if condition, and I'm going to say if uh, B1 has a value of all, comma, return true. And what the true does, return all the values. Else, 
return year equals B1. And then I say, okay. Now, because all is selected, let me close this one here. You can see all the data is returned. The overall total is 135.368. And I come here, click on this, and see my overall total is 135.360. So I have a fully functional pivot table, which is being filtered using a drop down. So I say all, all the data is displayed. I want 2021, 2022, and 2023. So I hope this has been helpful. This is how you can use a drop down to filter data on a pivot table. Very handy to know. Thank you for watching. If you have liked this video, please like the video. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. You can share with me. Otherwise, you could go about this and see you in the next video. Otherwise, have a great day.